technology of the wheel in pre-Columbian empires. One of these magazines should last me the rest of my life. Hello, would you like to- I- Okay. I knew that these kinds of pseudo-magazines could help in many situations. It is really astonishing how the old tricks continue to work again and again. I think I will have to pull the coals out of the fire. I can't even walk across hot coals, let alone reach into burning the fire is burning cheerfully. Hard at work, I see. Well, anyone who works so hard is allowed to take a break once in a while. You're entitled. Isn't your break? No. I thought as soon as smoke comes out of the chimney... If it's white smoke, that means the cook still cooking. If it's black smoke, that the food is finished. And so is my break. Oh. Well, then enjoy the rest of your break. I will. I didn't find any black paint. Do you think a piece of coal will work too? Yes. Coal should work too. Do you have everything you need for the portrait now? Yes, I think so. She's a little hard to see from here, but I'll try. It looks great, considering it was painted in 60 minutes. I think I've outdone myself again. Don't you think? Yes, it's really nice. And her best features are emphasized perfectly. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. I'll put the masterpiece in a bag for you so it doesn't get dirty. I'll leave you alone with your muse now. Thanks. From Both. Isn't there something important that you want to say to me? Yes. Watch who you question. Okay. I'll remember that. Look at this, what do you think? Oh, that's pretty. And the woman is a knockout. Oh, that's me. Oh, I always knew I was pretty, but so stunning. Yeah, and so modest. I thought you could use it as a campaign poster. Yeah, great idea. But one isn't enough, is it? Women, give them a hand and they'll rip off the whole arm. If I help you out with a few more pictures, you have to help me too, okay? Yeah, yeah, okay, and I also promise no new taxes. Exactly. And no one wants to build a wall. I can already see you could make a really good politician. I'll see if I can come up with a few more campaign posters. Then I'll leave you to your hip swing again. Hello, would you like to- I Okay. A run-of-the-mill plastic bag. Earthquake has begun. Nina, sometimes you are really bad. I don't think he can hear me anymore. It's really not that important. He has already fulfilled his purpose. Ratatou, ratatatou. Gone, gone is the balcony. 
ratatouille ratat... The construction worker probably would be less than enthused if I take his toy away. The vibrations caused by the jackhammer cause the house of cards to collapse. The poor guy will surely need them for his next attempt at the record. Cute, droll, cozy, and cuddly. I used up all the copier paper. That should be enough for a campaign to cover all of Cuba. A list with the heading, the gatekeeper appears to use the Here are the campaign posters. There's no longer anything standing in the way of your political career. Beautiful, simply beautiful. Who could resist this woman? No one. Help me now. Sure, I've given you my word as a politician, haven't I? Will you help me anyway? Fine, just this once, but watch out for Ramon. He's the caretaker here, and if he finds you, he'll make mincemeat out of you. So hurry. Perez's cell is all the way at the end on the left. He looks like he crossed the threshold to madness a long time ago. There are noises coming from the cell that tell me I definitely do not want to go in there. Hello? Is someone there? Yes? Come on in. I promise you we will definitely have a lot of fun together. <laughs> uh, maybe next time. The door looks different than the other doors. Most likely it is not a cell, but the room for the caretaker, Ramon. I'd better not go in there, otherwise he will get me. The cell is empty? Is this supposed to be a joke? Or do the staff not know where their patients are at any given time? A camera has been mounted up there. Wonder if it works. Isn't there something stuck between the mattress and the frame? There is! A newspaper article. It deals with the new appointment for the post of institution director. Next to the article is a large photograph of that Nicole Charlera. The mattress... Small grooves in the wall almost looks like scratches. There is something in one of the grooves. Those are fingernails. Looks as if someone tried to break the tiles out of the wall in a certain pattern. But I just can't think what it is supposed to mean. It looks like blood. Sorry, may I disturb you again? But of course, darling, anytime. I could use a little distraction. Perez's cell is empty. Where is your patient? Empty? What do you mean, empty? I mean empty. No one there, all gone, little going on there. In short, it's empty. That can't be. The doctor, she'll kill me. Does that mean you really don't know where Perez is? N no, I... Ramon? Yeah? Where is Perez? How come? He's not in his cell, so where is Perez? He's gone. I've already informed the doctor. She'll take care of it. Take care of it? Then will she take care of us too? I don't think so. She sounded really calm. Don't worry. Nothing's going to happen. I'm going to take care of the patient's beds here first. They need to be changed pretty badly. We'll talk after work, okay? Yeah, we should do that. Sorry, I didn't know. You heard for yourself. Oh, Lord, watch over us. Damn. I've flown thousands of miles just to find out that this Perez has disappeared. But I am not giving up that easily. I mean, he can't have dissolved into thin air. Is the camera in Manuel Perez's cell... is it turned on? I think so. Chalois mounted it. Or more precisely, had it mounted. Is there anywhere to see what the camera has recorded? Sure, it would certainly be possible in the control room. Can I look at it? No, I can't let anyone in. Come on, you owe me one. Sorry, I don't have a key. Only Ramon and the boss have keys. 
then I'll leave you to your hip swing again. portrait to the wall. If I manage to attach the canvas correctly, then hopefully the door will not close the next time. latest models. Wonder if they also were financed by this Massimo Gartuzzo guy. An old furniture type safe. How am I supposed to unlock this lock? Maybe I'll find a clue to the correct combination somewhere in here. The individual cells can be monitored from here. However, some of the monitors are only flickering. Some have been turned off altogether. A one-legged pirate. He probably lost the other leg in a sea battle. A cat is sitting on his shoulders, and on the cat's head sits a parrot. And the painter immortalized a spider in the upper top corner. What a weird painting. This Ramon guy is scurrying around out there. I think I'd better avoid him. A one-legged pirate. He probably lost the other leg in a sea battle. A cat is sitting on his shoulders, and on the cat's head sits a parrot. And the painter immortalized a spider in the upper top corner. How am I... I wonder if the safe will open now. Rats. How am I... I wonder if the safe will open now. All right, I'm a genius. There are tapes in there with writing on them. A. Carlos, J. Sanchez, S. Martinez, M. Perez. Here it is. I hope that it will help me somehow. I'm really eager to see what's on it. What are you doing here? I came to see if you're helping a patient escape. What? What do you mean? You know exactly what I mean. I... too bad. I don't actually like violence, but you leave me no choice. You'll go down before I do. No, wait! I don't want to rat you out. I just need to find Manuel Perez really badly. He's my only hope. Only hope? Perez was with my father on an expedition many years ago. Now my father disappeared without a trace. And I hope that Perez can help me find him. Manuel helps someone? He is the one who needs to be helped. How come? Because he... Never mind. So you really don't want to hurt him? No, definitely not. Okay, I'll help you. Just don't tell anyone I did, otherwise I've had it. The doctor doesn't stand for any nonsense. The doctor doesn't seem to be the most fun person anyway. Why? You have no idea what they're doing with Perez here? No, how should I? He was brought here a few months ago at the request of a guy named Cartuso. He was also the one who put Charles Roy in charge. And then the horror began. Let me guess. 
human experiments? Yeah? How did you know? That's not important right now. Do you know what the goals of these experiments are? No. It's probably because Manuel's disease is somehow special. Two other people were also flown in, but they disappeared again soon thereafter. It has to be about something big. In the last few months, they've invested nearly a million dollars in this asylum. Our salaries doubled in one fell swoop. But money isn't everything, and the price of a human life is too high, in my opinion. I wanted out sooner, but the boss said, whoever wants to get out now is gone forever. So I lost my confidence. I understand, but I need to find Perez badly. The longer it takes me to find my father, the greater the probability that he... Okay, I'll help you. Perez is hidden in a rock cave not very far from here, but you can't take him with you. I'll come in a couple of hours and take care of him. I know a lot of people here who will hide us. Agreed. Take care of yourself, okay? Yeah, you too. The hiding place is relatively safe. Nevertheless, I hope that Ramon picks up Perez quickly and takes good care of him. The poor guy is in a terrible shape. If he was not already close to being crazy when he was brought in, nobody would have been able to take the terrible treatment meted out by Charleroi without sustaining lasting damage. Are you Manuel Perez? <coughs> Hello? Can you understand me? I don't know if he understands me. When I addressed him, he looked me in the eyes and smiled. Almost as if he recognized me. This event in the Tunguska region reacted the same way. Maybe he really did recognize somebody. Namely, my father. My father disappeared. He was probably kidnapped. I take it that the reason he was kidnapped had something to do with his past. You worked with him for so many years. Do you know of anything that could, after so long a time, catch up to him? <coughs> it's obvious he wants to tell me something, but I have no idea what. What did they do to you in the Institute? And more importantly, why? What do they want from you? <coughs> he appears to be afraid of the subject. He must have experienced some bad things in the hospital. I shouldn't torture him with it any further, even if it is important to me. What happened back then during the Tunguska expedition? Try to remember. It could be very important. Either he can't remember anything, or he does not want to talk about it. This isn't working. I have to come up with another way of getting some information from him. Hello, what- so I've heard that a man named Manuel Perez supposedly disappeared from the institution. Really? I didn't notice a patient? Yes. Wouldn't you notice if someone disappeared here? Yes, actually I would. But I'm not here 24 hours a day. And isn't there a night shift? No, I don't think so. If you happen to see him, could you let me know? If I see him, I'll bring him back to the Institute. That was the official answer. Unofficially, yes, I will let you know. Thanks. I'll leave you alone with your muse now. Thanks. For Both. Hello. I... Okay. There's no paper. A copier. The poor guy will surely need... The poor guy will... with me again. There are huge... 
laundry, sir. The writing's any figures. The writing says, caution. The management of this institution, anyone who has seen something conspicuous or unusual figures in black robe. It's full of dirty laundry. I can't even... One chart. This isn't working. Maybe Perez can put his thoughts down to paper somehow since he obviously cannot express himself in words. It's worth a try. Perez threw some kind of symbol. I have no idea what it's supposed to mean, but it doesn't appear to be chaotic scribbling. The symbol can be recognized clearly and plainly, and the lines are so straight, as if they had been drawn with a ruler. Now the only question that remains is how that is going to help me. I'm going to send Max a text message and a picture of the symbol. Maybe he has an idea. My cell phone with all the bells and whistles. You can even make phone calls with it. I would really like to know how Nina is doing. But I'd probably interrupt her while she's doing something important. The top one is a sign denoting a speed limit of 30. The lower one warns of road damage. That is solidly anchored into the ground. The motorcycle I rented at the airport. No idea what coat of arms that is. The daily menu is hanging there. There's nothing on it. Either the cook is sick or they're fasting at the moment. Oh, full house? Maybe I should have made a reservation. Nice and toasty. I could stand in front of it and dry my wet things. On the other hand, I probably have to leave right away anyway. I might as well not bother. He looks really plastered. Hello? Are you all right? He doesn't appear to be overly communicative. Maybe I'll just let him sleep it off for now. A simple tin cup. I think I'll take that with me. It has obviously already fulfilled its function with a nice gentleman here. A key. Can I borrow the key for a second? No. Ah, oh, come on, just for five minutes. No! I obviously won't get very far with rhetoric here. I guess my only choice is action. The barkeeper is best friend. I don't want to deprive the barkeeper of his best friend. He seems to be his own best customer. Oh well, he also appears to be his only customer. At least, the only one who is still able to stand. Hello! Nice weather we're having today, isn't it? What? It's raining cats and dogs! They were supposed to be a joke. Yeah, real funny. Well, this should be fun. I'm looking for a man named Moranji. Good for you. What I meant to say was, can you tell me where I can find him? If you mean old Ken Moranji, he lives on this island. Island? How can I get there? Ask Folly. He's probably down by the water fishing. Do guests frequently fall asleep in the bar? Sure. But Klaus is particularly difficult. Because once he's asleep, it's hard to wake him up again. Is there a trick to it? Sure, if you stick something to eat in front of his nose. Then he'll wake up? If he likes it, then chances are he will. What is he like? He used to be a sailor. He doesn't eat anything but fish. But actually, I'm always happy when he falls asleep. Because then I don't have to sit with him and listen to the same sailor stories again and again. Not a lot going on here. Eh, it's okay. Do you always have so few guests? Some of my regulars are dead, and the walk-in customers aren't here yet. Walk-in customers? Truck drivers, who are driving their goods to the markets in the neighboring villages. Every once in a while they stop, have three to twelve whiskeys, and then continue their journey. Three to twelve whiskeys? Yeah, that's what I said. And how often do they come by? Every day they bring fruit and vegetables. I really don't understand who needs that stuff when you can have liquid vegetables. I would like a fish. Me too. 
Am I correct to assume that you are trying to tell me in your charming way that you don't have any? Yep. Thanks for the friendly chat. My pleasure. You don't by any chance have a few kind words on tap that could brighten my day, do you? No, not really. A tin advertising sign for an island sightseeing tour by boat. Definitely not by that weather, though. A stone. Exceptional characteristics? None. Nobody will miss it. There's a padlock on the door. It doesn't really look very seaworthy. On the other hand, a famous pirate by the name of Pinzel or something like that sailed the entire Caribbean in a boat like this. Water from above, water from below. They are most definitely not going to die of thirst. I mean, I'm already wet, but I'm still not going to jump in there. Oh, nice collection. I hope they aren't all from today. That must be today's catch. You can't eat that many fish by yourself, can you? Are you worried about my health? Or do you just want to scrounge up a fish? Well, to tell the truth. Go ahead and take one. I'm sure I'll catch a couple more. Oh, thank you very much. Actually, he only needs to breathe into the water once, then all the fish would swim to the surface. Drunk. Hello there! Why are you fishing in this weather? You don't have the first clue about fishing, do you? No, not really. Why? Because the fish bite the best in weather like this. You can see my bucket. That's my catch in just the last three hours. Even if I was able to catch 30 roast doves and wild pigs with apples in their mouths within three hours, I would never voluntarily sit outside in weather like this. I'm looking for a man named Morangi. Can you help me? Sure. Old Ken lives over there, on his island. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. How can I get there? Is there a ferry? Or a bridge? Nah, there aren't any bridges. And no ship is going to go out in this weather. That door in the cliff, do you know what's behind it? The cellar of old Stevie's pub. Is there any way to get in there? You have any idea how often I've tried that already? The cellar contains at least a year's supply of whiskey. But O'Brien, the old skinflint, keeps it under lock and key. He always says a barkeeper shouldn't give away his goods. We used to barter fish for whiskey. But one time a red herring got accidentally mixed in with the delivery. He's been pissed and ran something about industrial fish ever since. But the damage was minimal. Is that your boat over there? Yes. Can I borrow it for a second? Uh, I really don't need it at the moment. But perhaps you could do me a favor in return. Sure. What? My buddy Stefan visited me this morning and now I'm all out of whiskey again. Now I should get some for you? Why don't you just get some from the bar around the corner? Why don't you just swim to the island? Touché. So it's a trade-off. The whiskey for the boat? Yeah, that sounds fair. In that case, tight lines. Thanks. Are they still biting? If you don't pay attention. 